All right, guys, Thursday, we're about nine days after the storm. And if you can see behind us, we're moving out of our camp. On my right, I have David Lambert. On my left, I have Jay Nix. And I just want those guys to say a few words about this deployment and what we did and, and where we've been. Man, so impressed with the team this time on this deployment, my friend, Jay Nix. When the storm started kicking in, it's just like any other hurricane. You don't know exactly where it's gonna hit. So we were all working together trying to prepare. Where's the best place to go in? Where's the best place to stage? Well, we made the right decision on was actually breaking our group into two. So basically, we took one division, which I was involved with, and we went down all the way to plantation right at the time it was coming in. To get under the storm. To get under the storm and be able to come in from the south and work back up. Dave and Dave actually went in, kind of come in from the north side on 75 coming in on the west coast on the top side. They staged in uh, one of our great customers in Columbia County, Florida. And we actually converged back down in Sarasota, Manatee and Lee. That's what we've been really focused on. Things that I, that I really want to touch on are the teamwork not only with Motorola, but Parker, with United Tower, with Elite Tower, um, all the shop people that we had here, everybody was super supportive. Our customers that went out of the way to make things happen for us and uh, try to find the materials if we didn't have them brought in to help, you know, if they had them available. And the sharing between those customers with each other as well. You just can't ask for any better. And uh, it was long and it was stressful and uh, sometimes very tedious. The things I think that are super great that make you feel the, the best is when you know you can bring those sites back online and you know those public safety users out there, the fire, the police, the EMS, their radios work so that they can support the communities. That was why this was all started. Everybody coming in from, from all over, just like Dave said, Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, Florida, Georgia, we're all here and, and I mean, you just can't you can't ask for any better. And also I want to thank our support teams that are all across the United States. Time that they spend away from their families, being on the phone or trying to track down packages and deliveries. Let's keep up the good work. How many sites are up right now? All of them. All of them. It's easy to keep up with all yeah, of them. Yeah, it's easy to keep up <laughs> with all. All of them. Jay did good. Jay did a really good job. I, mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. No, I can just say. <laughs> most of the time y'all aren't that nice. I can just say ditto and yeah. uh, you know to what Jay said. but. I kind of to add to that, we did stage in to uh, Sarasota initially and then came down to Fort Myers. It was almost like two different events actually because of the storm damage. I'm just really proud of the guys and the support folks that helped us. I know Parker and his team provided logistics for us and without them we wouldn't be able to, to move our crews, fuel them, provide the food that we need to keep everybody going. Kind of what's neat about the way we're structured and set up, we come in fully self-sufficient. We do that so that we don't have any kind of a, a burden on the community we're trying to serve. Really proud of the guys here. I'll tell you what, they've, all of them worked very, very hard, no complaining, a lot of hours. I mean, 14, 16, 18 hour days. They all have a passion for this and what we do. Really proud of our support folks at, uh, in Chicago as well that uh, support us on the phone. There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that people don't see. We have a small group down here of about 30 people. And we're out in front of doing the work in the field, but there's a lot of activities taking place in the background from our sales team, the monitoring of the system, logistical support. It's just, it's just a tremendous activity. There's hundreds of people that are involved in supporting these activities, not to mention the ST community, bringing people in from other areas. And what's interesting is that you don't even have to ask people, they want to volunteer. When things get bad, you really see the character of an individual and how they're willing to step up. And I'll tell you, I trust these guys we worked with. They got the finest individuals I've worked with and just top-notch quality, utmost character. And we're just uh, we're just very proud to be here and to help serve. And now we get to go home. You can see the guys in the back over there. You can hear things beeping. They're loading up stuff. I just wanted to give a shout out to thanks to uh, our, our friends and customers and in uh, Lake County, who helped us out tremendously, That's Jason right. Matthews, uh, Dave Hayes, and Mike, Jordan, Casey, all of them, Julio, uh, getting us, helping us get into locations is great. And also X3, if you want to get in shape, X3 is a place to be. And then, and then if you and want then, to sit by the pool, that's right. And Zing chill, patio. Zing patio. They were great enough. They're the guys you see in the background, and they let us in. And so I just want to wrap up this and echo some of the comments. Obviously, y'all know probably who we work for. I think y'all ought to understand the commitment that this company has made following the storm 
the resources and the team that they put together to get in. We have 100% of their sites are green. All the police, all the fire, they're talking white area. We're talking about from Sarasota all the way down to Fort Myers, all the way out on uh, Sanibel, Hardy, Hardy County. The, the entire system that these guys put in and are responsible for, it's all green today. They're talking just like they want to. We've been to the other sites, Verizon and AT&T, and those guys, they're out there working too, but they're on satellite and they're putting their pass in. They're coming to evaluate sites today that we turned on a week ago. This is a commitment like none under to the customer, and uh, I just appreciate and all the stuff that you see on these trailers didn't fill up the day before we left. This is a, a year-round commitment. The support that these guys give us to let us be a part of a little bit of logistics to maybe help with a generator here or there, get these guys here, you know, we're honored to be part of the team. Most importantly, thank you so much, David. Yeah. yeah. No worries, Thanks, man. Sir. Thank you, Can't guys. Do without you guys. Yeah, we love you all. We want to. Yeah.